guys, it's Hydrogen Skin Amy today. So I live in a community with a lot of Irish people, and not to mention, I have some nieces and nephews that have a little bit of Irish in them as well. So I thought it'd be fun to combine two yummy flavors, Bailey's Irish Cream and Almond Paste, and make a St. Patrick's Day cake. So let's go inside and get started. So I've been shredding my almond paste because today we are going to make an almond Irish Bailey bun cake in celebration of St. Patrick's Day. And now we're ready to assemble our cake. The almond paste gives it a really nice scanty twist to this. Next you need three eggs. Your cake mix. And I'm following the instructions of the cake mix that I selected. One cup of water, half a cup of oil, one package of instant pudding, and I will have the instructions down below in the comments section as well. And one teaspoon of vanilla, and a half a cup of Irish Bailey cream. I'm using the non-alcoholic version. You can certainly use the alcoholic version as well. Next, let's give it a good mix. Next, what I wanna do is to add in some green food coloring paste and keep adding more until you get the color that you like. Okay, so now I'm pouring the green cake batter into my prepared bun pan. I sprayed it with cooking spray. So here I have some white chocolate balls and I'm going to add these into the cake instead of adding some white chocolate chips. Great, so once the white chocolate is completely covered up with the cake batter, we are going to stick this in the oven for about 45 to 50 minutes and bake it at 350. Of course, we're gonna use a needle to see if it comes out clean. And then, meanwhile, we're gonna start working on not only the frosting, but the cake decorations as well. So here I have some white chocolate balls and I'm spraying it with some edible gold spray. So now we're gonna make our frosting. And you can see here I've already softened some butter. Next, add your white powdered sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla, a half a cup of the Irish cream, and I'm putting in softened cream cheese. Now give it a good mix. So I've just put on a thin layer of frosting onto the cake. I'm gonna let this set in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes, and then we're gonna add on an, the rest of the frosting onto the cake. Okay, so now we're gonna warm up a half a cup of cream. We have this on medium heat and we're going to stir this until it starts bubbling. Next, pour the warm cream over white chocolate chips. Then let the warm whipping cream over the white chocolate chips just sit there for about a minute or two and then we're gonna start whisking it. Now start whisking the chocolate and the whipping cream. Okay, so we're gonna let our green chocolate glaze just sit for about 10 minutes, and in the meantime, we're gonna start frosting the remaining of the cake. Okay, so I just finished frosting the cake, and it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna continue decorating the cake. Next, we're going to pour on the green glaze and just let it drip down the cake. Here I have some gold and white sprinkles. I'm gonna sprinkle that on, give it a little festive flair. And then here are the gold white chocolates and I'm gonna put this on the side of the cake. And I'm putting on another row of the white chocolate candy. As well, if you have any extra chocolate balls, put them in the center. And then the last step, I'm drawing these on, which I thought would be absolutely adorable on the white candy chocolate that I've sprayed with edible gold as well, give it a really nice pop. And I did that all the way around, as well you can see up here too. Okay, so let's take a bite. So you can see the cake is nice and green, it's very moist and very soft. And it's so cute because we have the pieces of white candy chocolate on the plate as well, which is a really cute way to serve the cake to your guests and friends as well. I can definitely taste a hint of the Bailey's and as well the almond flavor. It's a nice combination. If you wanna make something quick and fast, I definitely think this might be a fun cake to make and it's also delicious. It has 
you know, the hint of the Baileys and the almond flavor, and as well, it's really moist too. So you're definitely going to make a lot of people happy with this cake. I had so much fun making this cake today. I love being able to draw on these little white gold chocolates. It was just, it made the cakes just so much extra special and yummy. Now, if you have any recipe requests, let us know down below in the comments section. My mother and I are happy to do it. And, and if this is your first time here, we would love to have you subscribe because every week we come out with new Nordic recipes to help celebrate with our Nordic celebrations and holidays and traditions and with our family and friends. Have a great week. Skull. See you later, guys. Bye.